Welcome to Straight Up Reviews, where there's no bullshit beyond the sign. There are good movies, bad movies, so bad it's good movies, and my personal favorite category, what the fuck did I just watch? That could be divided into two subcategories. The first being that every frame is so nonsensical that it's not worth the watch, yet you can't look away. And the second being a coherent storyline surrounded by so much vulgarity that it would take every god from every religion to just bless the surface of it off. This, my listeners, is Bad Grandpa. Now before I go through with it, a little history. Back in 2000, actor and stuntman Johnny Knoxville, along with other well-known stuntmen, created a stunt series known as Jackass, where much of the stunts range from pranks, self-injury, and indecent exposure, to name a few. A stunt from the first film involving an elderly guy, Knoxville in disguise, faking fugue state to get away with shoplifting. This inspired the movie I've seen today. Unlike the previous movies which showed random, often too screwed for TV stunts, this movie in particular managed to create a documentary style storyline. But much like the series it spawned off of, only the main characters were in on it. The story goes like so. Knoxville plays 86 year old Irving Sisman who recently lost his wife. To add insult to injury, his daughter dumps her 8 year old son Billy on him to look after as she goes to serve time in prison. That is until he drops him off at his father's home. As they wreak all kinds of havoc on the way, Irving develops a bond for his grandson and vice versa as they prank out everyone they meet. As this is a unique film, there are certain factors to point out. First of all, the pranks themselves are more disturbing than ever. From Irving getting crushed by an adjustable bed to a certain climax I do not want to mention out loud. Not just out of spoilers. It's literally a case of what the fuck did I just watch. However, there are renditions of the original grandpa pranks, such as the shoplift prank. I was even more surprised that they managed to get a kid in on the mayhem, especially during said unmentionable climax. You'd have to see that to believe it. Second is the storyline itself. To my surprise, it's actually a good storyline. Vulgarity aside, Irving and Billy get along just fine and you actually feel sorry for them at appropriate moments. Knoxville is an underrated actor and should be recognized as more than just a crazy mask as we know to hate. Third is the setting itself. The fact that only the main characters are in on it, while the unsuspecting public isn't, makes the reactions to them more realistic, as well as making them part of the story rather than simply more of Knoxville's prank fodder. It's method acting at its best. All in all, Bad Grandpa is a good movie, but you have to cut through all the disturbing imagery to see it. As usual, debate, argue, let me know what I miss. Stay tuned for more.